you see this bell icon here? Hit it now and we'll ensure you get delivered the very best of reviews, interviews and pop culture content. Tell me how you deal with the sort of immense attention that the kids are getting. I mean, I, when I look at it, and I've seen Sarah in school plays, and I think she's lovely. She's really lovely. But I wonder about the pressure this puts on her to be photographed every day. I look at Temur and I think, how will you ever teach him a work ethic when he's a star at like what, 10 you know, months? Temur is beyond a star. He's just, I, you, this is the thing. You know, you work hard to reach a certain stage in life. But the, like in Gestad, I see people like this, you know. You see really rich people, but the, the guy, the patriarch, has made it on his own. So he's got a look in his eye of contentment and happiness, but it's also of humility and he knows the world. But the kids sometimes that he has, who's just the busiest, most important thing is whether to have a manicure first and then a massage, or the massage first and then the man, have a very soft kind of annoying, to me annoying, kind of vibe about them because there's a, there's a, aura of um, entitlement you know, not just entitlement also aura of like slow luxury kind of uh, it's like they're all in beverly hills 98210 or something it's like some it's like a tv program about the rich and the luxurious so if you don't deserve it it, it but you want to look after your kids so when we've worked hard like karina in gashtad looks like she's on that holiday you know because she works like a um very hard so I'm concerned. Temu is roaming the uh, the corridors of the Imperial. He's going to grow up in Patodi, Imperial, Claridge's, Gestad. So I don't know. You know, I mean, and we'll stardom, try. and stardom, and stardom. I think he's yeah. He's 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 already a star. He's the, I was going to say he's the biggest star in the family for sure. But yeah. <laughs> so there are all these things. So I don't know. Um, what what do you do? Does does that worry you? I hope there's an innocence to him because he doesn't know anything else. So it's not a pretentious thing. Um, but it, it does worry me slightly because I think, you know, it's very important to be grounded and well brought up. And I, but I'm confident I, I think all our kids and all of us in the family are actually, um, you know, fairly straight and strictly brought up. And I, I, I don't know. Nothing a boarding school won't solve, <laughs> eventually. You're a big believer in boarding schools. <laughs> I am, schools. I am. I am, <laughs> especially if there's going to be this kind of environment. I think uh, Karina and I have already discussed a nice boarding school in England, I think, would, would hopefully do the trick. It's done the trick for everybody else in the family. Inc my father, grandfather, my cousins, all of us. But I don't know. I think it's something he's going to... I don't know. There's been all kinds of... I think we'll... As long as he grows up with, you know, good values, um, we'll do our best. He's he certainly have grown up with a, in a in a privileged life, and as long as he respects that, um, I, I I honestly can't tell you what's going to happen. It's easy sometimes to spoil our kids, and none of us are spoiled, but you you love them and and but I think Karina will be a wonderful mother. She's not going to be very impressed if he's spoiled. She's a toughie. She's a tough, she's also, both of them, all, both girls, you know, mom, Babita ji, auntie, has also brought them up with like really strong values. So I think handling fame is something also that you kind of get taught by your parents. I think my, fa my parents taught me also, they said that, you know, you say namaste dada to him or, you know, or go get it yourself, make your own bed, all these things like, Tiger Patodi is also quite a uh, grounding influence in our lives because such a big star but wore it very lightly. And being polite to everybody is, you know, so you can tell, they say, you know, the upbringing of a kid with how they greet. So it's, it's got nothing to do with fame. So I was shooting with a kid recently, not in Chef. And um, I said, Namaste Karo Beta. And he's, you know, didn't do it. So after the car, I said, you don't, how do you greet adults? So he said, I say, hi. I said, oh, you've got one behind the air in my house. <laughs> By my parents. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Namaste, Adab, touch feet. These are signs, I think. <laughs>